Asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come before you this morning. Thank you because you have given us an opportunity. You have given us time. You have given us this day to come and hear your word. Thank you because this morning you have given us an opportunity so that we Father Lord we can open our hearts and hear what you want to speak to us. Speak in a language that we will understand. Speak, my Father Lord, to our hearts. Speak to our minds. Speak to our body in every way to our God. Thank you. Thank you this morning. Thank you because you are God. Use me as a vessel this morning to share your word according to your will. Use me, Lord. Tell me, my Father, Lord, to share this word according to your will. As you speak to your people, speak to me, Jehovah God, because you are Father and you are God. In Jesus Christ, we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Let's have our seat. Bwana Asifiwe, nikubarisha ni tu nitoe hii, because now that nikubari ni wale ni kiri. This morning I'm born again. I'm Hudson Ekige wa Mshuma, and I love God and my personal Savior. with a story of a young woman who was married by a young man and they had children, three children, and these are these are three stories I'm giving. And uh, they were staying in their where their fathers and their mothers to their husband so they, they, were, they had built in, their, in, the, in, the, in the same compound. One day, the man got an accident, Nakakufa. And when he died, you know how families are. So when he died, the brother to the husband started torturing now the woman. They had been given a shower by the father where they used to go for, uh, where they used to get their food from. But that day, now that day, the brother started grabbing everything that the, the, this woman had. Nakapeleko mahali kukua musho omulima. So, when you are in the shop, you go and you buy, and the people who are in the bar, they will go and buy. But this, this woman, no matter what, I will give up. I will only say it. But you should pray so hard. You want to be rich. So, I will never give up. You know. The place was so dry. How could you have been there? And a few apple. She used to have faith that one day, Mungu atakuja ku 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 rescue from that place. Ili kwa mara kido wa tu mara ili kwa mepatiyo. So I go and check again if I can do it. Then I go and take my daughter back. That is now the three boys, the three children plus her. I go and accompany. So the summary continues for some time. I keep on praying. So I go. I try to put a little more here. But don't know what's going on. But he used to have faith. I go and have faith that one day. God will 
Kapinski. So aliendelea pale akiomba, akiambia Mungu bado na kukutarajia, bado na kukojea. Siku yangu ipige. And one day he died to ya ndege ya Kibaki, President Kibaki. One day people from Safariko Safariko, you know Safariko? People from Safariko wakakuja kutafuta mahali wanaweza ikapuste hao so that the people around that place of the network. And because God is good, they added to this mother's place. Na wakwa mwambia, tunataka kumumuwa hapa, tuweke busta, yenye inaeza saidia watu mahali hapa. Wewe tutakutoa hapa, tukunumulie shaka mahali mingine, na tukuteke. Utoke hapa, sisi tunumule hapa. Mwana asifiwe. Ule mama, alikuwa mefika mwishu. Alikuwa naona nothing else now. I've prayed enough. I've cried enough. I've done everything that a man or a woman should do. Na mefika mwishu. But kufika mwishu kwa ke, it was the beginning. Yama mwana zuna. Mama haka tolewa pale, haka nyingiwa shama mahali mingine, haka nyingiwa nyingiwa ya ya mawe, na haka patuwa pesa mingi, haka hata mpiyashara, haka waka mkaka mizuri, and the lives was so good to her. Now, the family ya ili mfukuza, after all those things wame mwenye, mungu wame kuja, na haka mwenye, wana asifiwe, My story now, it's all about faith. Bwana asifiwe, tafadhali kusikwa hivyo. We are so bad. And we are in the church. We are in the presence of the Lord. Are you blessed this morning? Are you happy? And why are you so bad? Tafadhali kuchangamuki, we are scared of my name. Ule mama, alikuwa na imani. She had faith that one day God will come to rescue her. And for sure, our God did. Our sermon today is about faith. Na tumesomoa vizuri sana na mwenye misoma about Mark 46, Mark 10, 46 to 52. Na, I think when I always read about this chapter, it really encouraged me. Kwa hile ni Batmaya alipitia. Na the faith that Batmaya had. Nilikuwa na juliza what is faith? na sita sema pili mwenye yako hapa na pana siyende kuzuyo it's a complete trust or confidence in someone or something it's a complete trust you know trust in something or confidence in someone or something so here we are trusting God in everything kwa na sifiwe and You know, nikiangalia hii somo na the private bias. What they carried me most ni vile private bias alikuwa amejiweka. Nilikuwa najiuliza na mimi ningependa tujiulize sisi wawili. But bias hakuwa naona. Alijuaje Mungu anapitia hapo? Bwana asifiwe. Alijua aje. Nani atanitibu? Alijua. Bwana asifiwe. Spiritually. But Myers was not praying. Bwana asifiwe.
superior. He was praying physically, but spiritually he was not praying. He could hear, he could sense that God is passing by. Well, as if you were. Today, most of us, most of us, most of us, we are dead spiritually. Well, as if you were. Most of us, few of us, we are very awake. We can hear, we can feel what God wants us to do. But most of us, we are dead spiritually. And that's why to go now to many how many mungu, when you want to say, how many nature, they are there. Wengine na Illuminati si 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 they are there. And all those people they are there. I want us to look few things in this story of Patimayas. One, he took advantage of who Jesus was. Our God was able to heal but he wanted to see what Bartimaeus can do. I'm very sure when he was passing by he could see even Bartimaeus where he was seated. But he wanted to see what Bartimaeus can do. And because Bartimaeus, as I've told you, he was awake spiritually. He could feel the presence of God within him. He knew that Jesus was passing by. One as if he were. Number two, he persisted despite hindrances. He persisted despite these hindrances. Faith does, come, does not come easily. You have to to acquire or lazima with a foot away from you. And but Myers, what will you require Karibu na Mungu? Those who are born again, what are They were the one who are rebuking Patmias. They were the one who are telling Patmias, stop shouting. You know, they were looking Patmias and they were saying, maybe in their mind, you were born that way, you are supposed to be that way, and you are not supposed to be you know, you are not supposed to be shouting to our king. But Bartimaeus did not listen to these people. He cried even more. This is a sign to us. This today is not about crying, it's not about shouting, it's about praying. One as if you were. It's about keeping praying despite the things you are going through, despite even not on a pitya, despite Mahaliuko, despite what you want, it's pressing in prayers. One as if you were. And even one of the artists, Akaimba Kasemo. Kaye ugere tia maiga no karemo, uke ogeri. Oh, I said, I don't know that don't stop there. Keep on pressing on. One as if you were. Keep on pressing on because our God is waiting to see your faith. One as if you were. 
I give you an understanding. And it's a real story. All these stories I'm giving today, they are real. Libitus in Mepanika. One day, there was a small boy. Walikuwa nakama harichini. Na nimesema mwaka kulima sana. Anyway. Ndiyo, ndiyo kulibio. Na shule yao ilikuwa mahali kwa mulima. Sasa kimaliza mulima. Ndiyo nafika kwa shule yao. Na I think this boy was very clever. Na alikuwa nakua na maramu. Because alikuwa mesonga mahali pana, pana kuwa pana yandiko. If you have faith like a master seed, you can move mouth. So that's what happened. So that's what happened. That's why he I think in Sunday school, I'm a washule, washiarai. I go to school. And every day, I keep on going. I'm so happy when I go to school. I'm so happy when I go to school. I'm so happy when I go to school. He used to say, "I to tell God, God." You always say, if someone has faith, you can move mountain. God, I want you to move this mountain. So that whenever I'm going to school, I will not be craving to this mountain. But as if you were, and he used to say that when he was very young, at maybe class three, two. And every day, all those years, until about form something, for one, form two. He used to tell God every day when he's craving, God. You tell us that if we have faith like a mustard seed, you will move mountain. God, I want you to move this mountain. He used to say every day when he's driving that mountain. One day, this thing of Kebaki. It happened, the road he used to pass. It happened in the of And one morning, when he woke up, and started craving. He saw tractors coming from the other side. And he was like, what is really happening? So he went to school, came back in the evening. But when he was coming back, and he was like, what is really happening? God, I want you to remove this mountain. And after a year or so, the mountain was normal. There was road that was going towards where the school was. One as if you went, Bongo, he was not climbing the mountain. He was walking to school. One as if you went. That is how faith works. One as if you went. These boys started praying and asking God about moving the mountain when he was very small. Boy. But just imagine, as he's coming to finish from four, now he's not craving the hill, he is walking to, towards the school. God has if you will, because God hears our prayers. God has if you will. So this that faith is what we are talking about today. God has if you will. Amen. And the third to go on to the other the third point is, he expects he, he expect a transformation. But Maya expected transformation from God. And he obviously expected change in her status. So alikuwa na faith ya kwamba as long as Mungu atasikia sauti yangu as long as Mungu atasikia sauti yangu I'll be able to see again. Bona asifiwe. How many of us tumefika mwisho? How many of us tumeomba 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 tumefika mwisho? Tumeamini Mungu anakuja kutenda hii. Tumeamini Mungu unanipatia kazi. Tumeamini Mungu unataka familia. Tumeamini Mungu unataka hii mwaka nipate kazi. Nimalize masomo. But as more you pray, you want to know 
Hapa ni mimi tunaonana hivi. Tuko pamoja. Mbona asifiwe? As we continue pray hard. Ndio mambo yanakuwa ngumu. Don't give up. Have faith in God. Like this woman. Like this boy. Have faith in God. Bwana asifiwe. Have faith in God that God is coming to do something. In his help, in his health problem about pregnancy, he was sure God will make me see again. He was a beggar because alikuwa na kura na kenya, alikuwa na patua na watu na pita. He knew if I am able to see, I will not beg again. I will not ask people for to give me something so that I can eat. So he knew the transformation, when the transformation come, I will not bear again. Go on as a few. Number four. He asked for the right thing. Go on as a few. Sijui, sijui no one have to get a common with me now, good year. He gave a more time. How many people pick you up? Tuko hengi Yani ukifika kwa mungu Kwa nito mwambi ya kini yonataka Unahanza kumia And when you are crying Mungu wanazikia kilio Ama anataka umuungereshi No, ni kujuliza Na nisikia kujuliza Ukiria mungu wanazikia kilio Ama anazikia maombi ya yonaomba Anataka kusikiza maombi Zote, apana. Apana. Batimaya azi alidia, ama alishout. No, tusizane ni tu. Batimaya azi alidia, ama, ama alishout. Alishout. So, when we are crying, are we ready to pray? Are you sure? Mm-mm. Udajua kami miliko wako. Na ninajimiza ka hiyo swari. Ata ni kilia. Mungu wa jasikia yo maombi. So I need to speak. I need to speak. So that God can hear what I want to say. If I cry, I'm just crying. Ndiyo ni na huzulika kwa sababu ya whatever I'm going through and whatever I have and that's why I'm crying. But if I cry, am I really speaking to God? So I need to speak so that God can hear what I want to say. Bwana asifiwe. We don't we don't want to cry again. But we can we start now speaking. But Maya did not cry because he was able to cry, right? But he did not cry. He shouted according I mean towards Jesus. Son of David. And even when people stopped him not to cry, how was here? How many times us to be who are obstructed in the Jews and the Jews are not there? We are saying that we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. No, it is true. I'm giving a real story, and I'll give you this one because I'm married, and I have I have two boys. So so that's a many many papa boys. We got a Rodney Mushua. We got a Jason Bato. Yeah, beautiful. I'm blessed, and I thank God. Now, I used to hear what preachers used to say that time on all. I wanted to get married. Na nilikuwa na wapa kama nilifungua macho, ndiyo nione. Wana asifiwe. Na because 
nimefungua macho badala ya kuendelea kuomba nilikuwa naona nasahau kuomba bwana asifiwe na sijio si haikuwa haiko ya Mungu Mungu alikuwa anataka nifunge macho niombe nikifungua atanionyesha mwelekeo bwana asifiwe na nikaendelea kwa miaka mingi nikiomba na yale nilikuwa naona hayakuwa yanaendelea kwa nilipenda until this one day we can say Mungu nimejitafutia kutosha I want you to give me what you want me to have and I started praying to God the way that I need it more than it ever and after five years I met this beautiful lady she was a presbytery secretary Karo. She was Yes. Na hata vile nilimuona nikasema, "Oh, mtu siwezi kufikia. Mahali yuko." And then I was chairman of the church of this church congregation, you. Pakini kwa na siwezi kufikia. Kwa sababu wale watu alikuwa nao, nikitia kadia mimi. Na una siwezi kufikia kwa sababu mimi sina kitu lakini wala watu wako nao ni watu wamechaza vizuri kimfuko i mean that is eh si mwili kimfuko but kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa amenena lazima ingefika ingefika tuko pamoja lazima ndio ingefika i'm not saying this because i want to I want to share something and that most of us we make mistake na hatutaki kurekebisha hiyo mistake sawa sawa mimi nilikuwa nafanya makosa lakini sikuwa ndara kurekebisha hiyo makosa until this one day nikaamua god i looked for myself now i want you to to guide me and to show me the way and i started praying seriously without now looking on my own nikaacha kuangalia nikaingia kwa maombi nikaambia mungu nitafutie Bwana asifiwe. Amen. And after five years, this beautiful lady akakuja, nikamuona. And I remember, unajua Karo, Karo simama. When I met this lady tulikuwa na Karo. Huyu huyu main stage. Umekumbuka Karo? Thank you. Thank you. Tulikuwa na Karo. Na mimi Karo alikuwa amenisimamisha nilikuwa nimetoka mahali kuhubiri. Mimi nilisimamisha nikasimama tukaongea na Karo. So tukiongea na Karo, the lady akakuja. Then he akakuja. Nikakuwa na sasa na confidence ya kumudisha nama. And that's how it started. Mpaka tukafika mahali sasa tumefika. Bwana asifiwe. After kuanza kujitafutia na nikasimama kwa maombi and i had the faith that god will give me bwana asifiwe can you have the same faith whatever you are praying for god is going to give you bwana asifiwe if it is job akiana nitakuja itakuja trust the lord na usikue na kuwabaika bwana asifiwe na usipitie njia zingine you know the problem with us tunaomba na tunajitafutia the same thing tunaomba na tunapitia njia zingine unachukua kabisa na kusai hizi njia si nzuri you are in prayer and this is true because I, I, i used to do so ninaomba sana na na hata nafunga but bado napitia njia ambayo Mungu hataki nipitie and it's all about you and it, because i'm one of them i'm one of you that's what i'm telling you this wacha kupitia njia zingine za kupata simama kwa Mungu simama na neno la Mungu na for sure he will fulfill it because he is a good god bwana asifiwe way number five following jesus on the way tumemaliza namba kwa tumesema namba kwa yeah so we are in number five right when what was aliona Benjamin aliona alikuwa macho kaona hakurudi nyuma hakurudi 
kuambia watu wao ati ameona he followed jesus on the spot bwana asifiwe he did go back to the parents to the friends hata mwenye alikuwa amemleta hiyo asubuhi hapo hakurudi kumwambia mungu amenipona immediately he followed jesus how many of us we are born again tumefanyiwa mambo mengi bora kufuata Mungu sisi tumeangalia nyuma we are going back yet we are saying we are born again yet we are saying that we are going we are going to heaven but whatever you are doing we are going back where we came from bora asifiwe can we start from so that we can walk with god bora asifiwe so that we can be able to go according to what god wants us to to go Going back will not help us. Doing things that are not supposed to be done, it will not help us. We have to stand firm and know what God wants you to do in your life. We're going to praise and worship Him. I can count them. I'm very sure. Leo sasa hii ni simamisha watu hapa. Kuna watu wa praise and worship hapa. I can mention you because some I, I know I know you. But I think you have to praise him more. Umeria, what God has given you. If you have given you something, please start doing it today. God has given you some are good ashes here. But I'm not doing it. I don't know what God is going to tell you to see how you fanya kitu. That's true. Even me, and it's good to to give an example in my myself kuna siku zinge kuja nisimame hapa mbele ya watu sikeweza so nilikuwa na chelewa hata hata kwa mkutano singetaka kukua kwanza ndio nisijambie hata nisiombeshe kwa sababu sitaweza hata kuomba within me there was something that was not in it will not push but maybe na kata na naiweka kando bwana asifiwe today there is something that is pushing you but what you don't want to do it because you are what have faith in god have faith in god bwana asifiwe some are good readers but you don't like to chaguli in the district we are looking for a representative you are not going to be seen Bwana asifiwe. Eh kwa nini unauza mali papaya? Eh mpaka sasa demene imepungua kabisa. Nasikia tu hapo mbele. But that is the truth. We are called to serve God. And each and every one of us. Mimi kitabu nilikuwa nasema sijui Mungu amenipatia nini nikusaa. And most of us that's what we are saying. Hati mimi sijui ninafaa kusahau watu. Na asubuhi unaangaa kuimba. Chua. Mungu atakujibu. Hai. Mimi nasema I don't know. I don't know. But kwa kazi wewe you are the leader. Bali unafanya kazi ya mashule. You are the leader. Is that a proof enough to show you that even the church you are the leader. Bwana asifiwe. So let's go back to where you are supposed to be. And we have faith that whatever we are praying for, whatever we are doing, God will reward us. What I say to you, conclusion is this. But my as spiritually as I see was awake. So salvation when you are honor That's a, a symbol of salvation in him. Bwana asifiwe. Alikuwa amekufa kioho. Sisi. Yeye alikuwa amekufa macho na kweli. But it's a symbol of our hearts. When you are born macho, that is a salvation. How many of us are not born again today? We come to church. We 
do everything that is supposed to be done. But you feel Mungu akikuja sahi utaacha hapo. Bwana asifiwe utaenda mbinguni. It is a high chance. But my alijua alijua siri and shout no matter what. Hakuna kujua ni nani anamwambia anyamaze. They were readers in the same group of where now Jesus was walking. Now, how do you want to be a Yamaza? But here he said, no. I have to stand and stand far until Nione. One has to be. How many of us today we want to see? How many of us today we want to see God? How many of us today do not pack a conversation to me? It is a point. And upon you. Because the word is speaking to all of us, even me. There are some areas God wants to make change. It is you and me, God is speaking today. And He's telling us, have faith and move this mountain. And the mountain will go. The mountain of your life. Those things that you are seeing that they are not moving. And it's good to say this. Please wait till it's coming and you will celebrate. What I see here, umiombea kazi wui unasema mungu kwa ni unisikiani. Wait, have faith that whatever you are praying, God is here. Kazi na kuche. What I see here, you are praying because you are doing something. You have a project. You are in school. Unataka uongoze. Ama unataka umalize. And things are not happening. School fees imeenda. Unashiko mungu. What next? Have faith in God. Wana asifiwe. Have faith in God. That God is coming to do something in your life. Wana asifiwe. But my other thing wana tuwa. As long as I shout. As long as I have faith. Mungu. Nitaona siku ya leo. Wana asifiwe. Na diyo wana hangi nyamaza. Hange taka mungu waende. Akose kumuona. Lakini benye. Ali ito. Ali anza kutapasa. Even as. Our time is coming. And God is calling us. Today. Because that today is when the, the word of God have come. Mungu wana kuita leo. Have faith. Whatever you are praying for, God is answering you. Buwana well, asifiri. Have faith today. That whatever you are praying for, God is answering you. Buwana well, asifiri. Can we stand up? Please and worship. Give us a worship. All of us. Don't let there is a mumbo. There are those areas you have had what God has spoken to you. Na unajua ni area gani Mungu amekuongelesha. You know where you have gone wrong. Unajua ni wapi unataka kuongeza imani yako? Tell God today. In that area you want God to speak to you. Tell God something. Tell God.